It is one of the most common forms of cancer, and for a long time, it puzzled scientists. But a discovery deep inside our cells may help us to solve the mystery of prostate cancer. Dr. Arul Chanayan is awarded the Huerbe Prize of 2022 for the discovery of recurrent gene fusions in prostate cancer. Dr. Chinayan's discovery is expected to be of great importance for many of those who are diagnosed with prostate cancer. Arne Lindstrom, who has been a farmer all his life, felt mild symptoms. I had problem peeing, but I didn't give it much thought. I thought it was perhaps an age problem just. But then something happened that changed everything. My brother passed away in prostate cancer. It came like a shock. And as his problems were similar to mine, I decided to test myself. When the test results arrived, it turned out that Arne also had prostate cancer. Yes, I, I remember it like yesterday. The doctor phoned me. I knew it was deadly. In many countries, prostate cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related deaths among men. The prostate is a gland above the urethra, about the size of a walnut, that produces the transport fluid for sperm. Cancer develops when cells inside the prostate begin to divide in an uncontrolled way and form a tumor. The cause of this cancer hides somewhere inside the cell nucleus, where our DNA is collected in chromosomes made of thousands of genes. But what goes wrong in the cell and causes prostate cancer has thus far been unknown. This is a section from a patient with suspected prostate cancer. Even though prostate cancer is so common, it had been a mystery to us how it actually develops. This mystery interested the young Arul Chanayan at the University of Michigan in the United States. Trained as both a molecular biologist and a pathologist, Arul had specialized in cancerous tumors. And when the big breakthrough for genetic research came in the early 2000s, Arul Chanayan was involved in building a database open to all researchers that gathered all their knowledge about genes and cancer. Arul and his research team focused on prostate cancer. They developed a new method for finding altered genes that could be the cause of the cancer. It was when they cross-checked the genes they had found against the database that Arul made his discovery. He found something called a fusion gene in about half of the patients with prostate cancer. It was an epoch-making discovery by Dr. Shinayan. Until then, almost nothing was known about the genetic origin to this disease. But here they suddenly had a possible cause. A fusion gene forms when chromosomes break apart and two genes, or parts of genes, join together. These gene fusions can give the cell new and sometimes dangerous properties. The fusion gene discovered by Arul Chanayan is formed from the ERG gene, which stimulates cell growth, and the Tempris 2 gene, which is driven by male sex hormones. And this fusion is a dangerous mix, resulting in male sex hormones igniting extra cell growth, which can lead to prostate cancer. The discovery also opened up a new field of research where other scientists now look for fusion genes in other types of cancer. In lung cancer, this has already led to a new type of treatment. For prostate cancer, research on new drugs is ongoing, but a rule Chanayan's discovery is already in use for making diagnoses. It is, for example, possible to diagnose cancer with a urine test, searching for markers of the fusion gene. And finding cancer early is crucial. For Arne, the cancer treatment was successful, but the experience changed his life. It was tough for me and my family, of course. Just the word cancer, it, 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 I guess it sounded final. Arne decided to retire and sell his farm to have more time with his family. Well, I felt but my life wasn't endless anymore, so I had to change it. I think I found a new balance in my life. 
and I hope that my cancer doesn't come back. Dr. Arul Chanayan continues his research with the goal of stopping prostate cancer once and for all. In recognition of his research, he is now awarded the Huerbay Prize for 2022 of 1 million US dollars. I am very honored to have been selected as the re recipient uh, of this award. And it's really an honor to follow the, uh, the, the leaders who have received this award previously uh, and to be acknowledged uh, for these efforts in, in terms of uh, basic cancer research. I, I plan to use the funds uh, to fuel our efforts uh, in therapeutically targeting the products of these gene fusions, which are oncogenic transcription factors. Uh, we'll develop uh, uh, direct as well as indirect approaches to target these oncogenic transcription factors in, in cancer. So that's the general plan, really build upon the discovery and uh, attempt to therapeutically target these gene fusion products. The Huerbay Prize is awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and funded by the Huerbay Foundation.